Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at encoding our data into XML. So like our previous example, where we read our comma separated value file as input and then wrote out to JSON format. Instead, today we're going to read the same comma separated value data, but instead write it out to XML. And the program is going to be just adopting the previous example or design that we had, which is we have this stuff already, the foundation for reading and converting a comma separated value line set of values into a person. So we're going to reuse that. And the only thing we need to change is the writer there in blue or um, go routine that writes out a um, XML file. We're just going to have to use, tell that to use the XML encoder instead. Now, once you've done the one with the JSON, changing, to, changing it over to do XML is very, very easy. Quite literally, just changing the type of in package you're using, the name of the package, but the function are all the same. There's only one other function here we're going to use, and that's the one on indent. All right, so let's go back now and look at our code. Um, we're going to start off by copying our previous example, which was section 06 encoding to JSON. And the only thing we're going to change is essentially the encoder. So I'm going to delete this JSON file because we don't need that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is simply rename everything that says JSON to XML. And then where it says in, use the X JSON encoder, I'm going to say use XML encoder. And then I rerun the code. That's it. Just look it over, rerun it. And when we run it, we'll see it all. Oh, it's going to produce the XML output like we expect but it's going to be jumbled. We can't really read it because it's all on one line. So that's why we're going to use this one other function called indent, where we're going to be able to say, everything you go to write a new line, how much the indent by, and then if you have to write um, a new element, sorry, how much the indent by, and if you have to write sub um, attributes for the element, how much to indent those by forwarder. So I use two on spaces and then four, and then I change it back to just two spaces for new lines and two, spaces for indenting each um, sub element. And that's it. That's all there is to write in XML. Like I said, it's very easy once you do the other one. Um, if you don't, I didn't try to explain what XML is or what JSON format is because um, that's sort of outside the scope of the series. And I used to do that where I would go and explain all these things, but then don't make the video a lot lo longer. And so if the focus is really on teaching you the packages, then going off and teach you what is XML and all that stuff seems to be outside that scope. So limiting the soap makes the video a little bit shorter. And for people who already know XML or JSON, it doesn't annoy them. And for people who don't know, you can just simply pause the video before you start it and just go take a quick look at Wikipedia and they have tons of example or just do YouTube. What is XML? YouTube, what is, you know, um, or Google, what is XML? What is um, JSON? All right. That's it. Take care. Have a great day. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And definitely thumbs up the video if you're already subscribed. And spread the word. Get your friends and families to watch the video too. Okay, have a great day. Bye.